In this video, we'll look at OS Log, which has been around for a while, but has some nice new powers thanks to Xcode 15. Often when we're developing an app, we want to track the status, see where things are. And although we know we should use breakpoints, we often first reach for print statements. As an example, in my Top Tracks music app, when a song begins, I mark it as played, and I'd like to see some console output that reminds me which song is playing right now. So here's the mark song is played method. I first check to make sure I can extract my type, the top track song, from the song information from the application music player. If I can, I update the time it was last played, and then I'll try to save that in Swift data, formerly core data. But in between, I'd like to log that I'm playing a new song along with that song information. Maybe I'll use a print statement. So as a new song plays, you can see that I'm updating it with a print statement but oh my gosh, there's a lot of other stuff that gets output to the log. That's a lot of console output. A lot of that noise is from CloudKit and Core Data and all that, but it's hiding my print statement that just tells me what the song is. A lot of developers decorate their print statements with emojis to make them easier to find, something like this perhaps. But with this much console output, it's still hard to spot. I don't use emojis, but if I scroll up, and up, and up, oh my gosh, there it is, hidden inside all of this other extraneous information that I don't really care about. It would be nice to just see the stuff I care about. So one way to do this is to set a breakpoint. It's not ideal, I don't want to stop my app here and have to do the continue all the time, but it's one way I can at least see my print statement. And now when I hit the breakpoint, at the very bottom of my console, I see my print statement. There's not a lot of information there. Playing song that's another problem. I'm not seeing any relevant information. I don't know one song from another song this way. Of course, you know how to address this. You add a description by conforming to custom string convertible. And so let's conform top track song to custom string convertible so we implement the computed property description and we'll output the title by the artist name. Now in my app, it's like a top 40 app, so each song is inside of a category. I'd like to display the rotation category information as well. And just because I'm fussy, I want to put the title of the song inside of quotes, so let's escape quotation marks on either side of title. And so this is my output I see in the console now, and this is kind of nice. It's exactly what I want to see. Now sometimes we need more information than a print statement will show us, and we can use dump instead. And you can see when I use dump, I get an awful lot of information, more that will fit on any one screen, and this is sometimes helpful and sometimes what I need to do debugging. But in general, this is too much information for me. This is more the level of information I'd like to see, so I prefer to use the print statement where I can control the level of information that's displayed in the console. And of course, the other too much is all that gunk on either side of this that masks the actual information I'd like to see, the playing information. We'll address both of those. OS Log is not new. You can go back a couple years and see a real nice dub dub presentation on it. So if I look at my current song class, I already have this public static that allows me to have a single instance of this, the shared instance of current song. And I have a member property that keeps track of the currently playing song. I'm going to want to share this song information with other parts of my app so I make this class observable. We haven't talked about observable yet. I'll start a series on observable next week. But let's get to the logging. First, I'll import OS log, and then I'll create an instance of logger that I'll call song playing logger. Because we're going to want to be able to filter this, that's how we get just the information we want to be visible. We can specify the subsystem. In this case, current song is part of the application state module, so application state is my subsystem. And for the category, I'm going to use the name of the class, current song. Again, subsystem and category are very useful when we're filtering our console output. I was dumping the top track song. Let's replace that with our logger, and we'll ask our song playing logger to display info. I chose info, but there's many levels of logging I could have chosen based on whether it's an error or a warning, or I'm just tracking something all the way through. This is just basic information, and that's why I'm using info here. So what is the message I want to display? I want to display that I'm playing and then the information for my top track song, the top track song description. 
when I run it and I hit the break point, I do see playing there, but where's the top track song information? It's part of what I'm supposed to be logging, but it's not visible in the console. Because I'm at a breakpoint, I can PO top track song and see that the information is available, but it's not appearing in the logger. That's a little puzzling and a little vexing, and thank goodness I got a little push from Xmanu. The default privacy level is private so that information is redacted. It just doesn't appear in the console. If you want to set the privacy level so that you do see the information, we add privacy and specify public. Now when we run it, we see all the information we'd like to see playing followed by the description of top track song. So we're getting just the information we want in the console, but let's remove the breakpoint and remember that we need to take care of this too much output in the console that's hiding this information. When the song changes, the playing is issued to the console output, but it's masked in all this other console output. This is where the strength of OS log really shines in Xcode now. We can filter the output, for example, by specifying the subsystem. So here if I specify the subsystem application state, I see just a subset of the output and it includes when I selected a new station and when a new song begins playing. And you can see for this video, I went back and forth to get the new song playing so you can see the same song at the bottom start several times. But maybe we don't want that information about when a new station starts. Maybe we only want when a new song starts playing. So we can filter by category instead of by subsystem. And now if I filter by the category current song, I only see when a new song begins playing. That's the filter facility in Xcode. We can also adjust the metadata that's being displayed. We can choose to see the type, that's info or whatever level there is, the timestamp, the subsystem, and the category, and all that information appears very nicely in the console. If you like, we can filter on any one of those as well. So you can see that Logger gives us so much more than print. Here's what a single entry looks like now with all the settings that I've made. It's easy to locate the entry, and it was easy to customize what we see. I encourage you to experiment with Logger and OS Log. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, OS Log has been around for a while, but this facility in Xcode is new, and gives us such a great deal more power when we're trying to look at what's happening in our app.